at Dealer Week in Tampa for MRAA. I'm Alan Went. Jared Zimlin is our guest for this interview with Elite. And you just posed when we were pre-taping here a, a great question. You look at big ticket items and how do other industries get financing? How do they help their customers? That's a great question to be able to stick into the boat genre here. And you guys have an answer. We're working on an answer. We think we have an answer. Uh, appreciate the opportunity, appreciate the time, Alan. So what we're working on with several manufacturers, first off, Elite Recreational Finance, we are a full service retail finance provider. We work with dealers all throughout the marine industry, work with all the lenders. Uh, many of you are familiar with us. If you're not familiar with us, you can find us at EliteRFS.com. But our, what we're trying to do is take the knowledge we have. I've been in this industry since 2000 as the president of our company, Jimmy Delagro, who's a friend of mine since grade school as well. So we've been doing this almost 24 years now. And so we have a lot of knowledge on how the finance portion works. We've invested heavily in the last four years in uh, technology and kind of answering that question to your point of what, what is the buying experience in other industries? Automobile, mortgage, what does a customer expect? As we evolve, if we do things the same way we've always done them, there's that fear that technologically we will work ourselves out of a job. So how do we, how do we address, you know, part of our job as an F&I service provider is making things easy for a dealer. And these would be for dealers that may not have their own F&I department. That's correct. So a dealer that doesn't have their own F&I department hires a company like Elite Recreational Finance, and they let us do that. And how do we cut down the lead time that's necessary? Because buyers go, I want to buy a boat. And the boat show is coming up next week. You can, through links online, allow someone to quote unquote pre-qualify or at least soft qualify for, for yeah, a Yeah, yeah. So there's two kind of th iterations there. So on, on the dealer side, with every dealer that we work with, they have a credit app link, their logo goes on their website, comes into us as a soft credit pool. Before it's gone to a bank, we can kind of see what they look like, mm -hmm. what the best likelihood of getting improved is. If it needs to be, uh, maybe they need a co-buyer, maybe they need something, we can hands-on take care of that. What we're building now is more on the manufacturer level. So the customer's not that far down the funnel. They're not, they're not at the dealer yet. So on uh, Chaparral and Rabala's website, and now introducing this week on Bentley Pontoons. A customer, when they relaunch their website at the beginning of the year on Bentley Pontoons, they will be able to go on, uh, build a boat the way they want to spec it, so they're just at home. There'll be a button that says, hey, get pre-qualified. And they want to see what they look like. They'll be able to hit that button, enter name, address, phone number, no social security number needed. Hmm. It's going to go ahead. It's going to go ahead and run an actual credit report, a soft credit report. It's going to then generate that report and give it to the dealership. So the dealership's going to get a lead. But instead of the lead being a contact us that we're all are equal, where an 800 credit score and a 500 credit score is the same, salesperson spends the same amount of time uh, figuring out how to sell one over the other. Where, where the economy is getting tougher and every sale matters, your time matters. So we want to give them the granular details of what's the credit score, what's their income, what's their, what's their highest trade line, how long have they been in the credit bureau, all the things a bank's going to look at to say yes or no. Mm -hmm. And then we color code these leads to the dealer to say green, yes. We've actually bounced it against a couple lenders we work with, their underwriting criteria say, yes, this is likely to get bought depends on what, how much money they're going to put down and other factors. Yellow, there's no reds. Yellow is, there might be some work here. So we want to give them a little more detail than just and phone. Si since that buyer is still up here in the funnel and not down here where it's decision time, if they're not ready to make a decision, there's some subtle things that can be sent to them email-wise without them maybe knowing. Uh, about the particular boat that they were looking at or hoping to purchase. That's correct. So the, the, this is kind of a two-fold system. So the lead generation goes to the dealer. The customer immediately gets an email. They get that instant, just like if you filled out a credit app on Capital One or you went to Amazon mm -hmm. and you get that instant bing. I right. got a message. They get a message that says you're likely to be approved. Here's your dealer's information. Here's you need to talk to. Here's the model you were looking at. Come on, dealer, let's go to the boat show. Okay. <laughs> they say they don't pick up that day. They don't go to the dealership that day. They don't take the dealer's call for whatever reason. They're probably looking at three or four or five other brands mm -hmm. of similar. That's fair. Mm -hmm. So we want to take, you know, in our case, Bentley pontoons or Chaparral and Rabalo boats, put those images in front of that customer now. 
Now it's in their email. Now they're in a, a nurturing campaign. So depending and then depending on how they interact with those emails depends on what messages they get. Let's say the customer just disappears. They disappear for three, four, five, six months. They come back to the website. We, we've already captured their info, pixeled them, cookied mm -hmm. them, whatever you want to say. They go back up the rankings. They come back into the dealer's lead source. It becomes back as a warm lead. So we're trying to kind of get higher up the funnel and, and make those leads much more, give the dealer more actionable information and keep the customer brand aware. Because you know, a manufacturer spends every year, they're taking photos, videos, all this sure. stuff, and they put it in a, a, a Dropbox or somewhere for dealers to use and they don't always get used. Right. And well, the dealer doesn't always invest in that kind of nurturing. So we want to bring that for the manufacturer so the manufacturer can bring it to their dealer and say, hey, we're going to help you you know, now, now dealers are saying, what can you do for me to their manufacturers? This is a way that the, the manufacturers say, here's what we're doing for you. We're helping you get better leads and we're helping you by nurturing your customer, by making sure that they're on brand and you're the dealer that they go to. Jared, as a dealer considers linking up with you, they're still able then to have other sources for financing because I know most of them have four or five in their matrix they, they go to depending on, on the the credit, credit worthiness of the individual or their individual situation if they're an entrepreneur. Sometimes their financials look different than somebody that's got an eight to five Monday through Friday job. Yeah, that's a great question. So in understanding, there's kind of different models out there for what's considered F&I outsourcing. We've got two different sides of our house. We've got one that's it's full service. The dealer hires us as if we're the person down the hall. So they don't really go outside of that because we set them up with all the banks, A tier to subprime. Mm -hmm. We do everything for them. But there are dealers out there that they may have their own internal F&I, but they have, there's some banks that are in their area. There's some banks that they can't get set up with for whatever reason. They may work with another service provider. Oh. However, that service provider doesn't do consignments, brokerage, commercial use. So, gotcha. there's, so there's niches. So we have a direct side, Elite Direct Finance, where we do help on the one-off, on the kind of the, the pick and choose what you want to send us. And then we have full service where the dealer is partnered with us and uh, we every day do our best to keep them partnered with us and make sure they're happy and make sure the customers are happy. But we, we try to be all things to all people as best we can knowing that that's impossible. Jared Zimlin with um, a new company, not a new company, you guys have been around 20 years, Elite Financial Services. Yeah, it's Elite Recreational, Recreational Finance. Recreational Finance, yeah. okay. So this is live, it's available now people can take advantage of the service. It, yes, yeah, so we're at booth 337 at uh, Dealer Week. We are at EliteRFS.com. Uh, we have been, you know, we've served over 100 dealers that work with us nationwide, lower 48 states, and Puerto Rico. And a dealer can call us up, and, and like I was saying, if they're, if a dealer's doing their own F&I now, and they're finding that it's difficult, they're finding that deals are tougher to get bought, they're finding that what used to work two years ago when it was COVID and everybody was paying way too much money and waiting way too long for a boat, but that's changed, we can help. If they've got, uh, let's say that their margins are shrinking and they've got, they, they had a full-time finance person, however, that person either is not getting enough deals now to where they're happy, so they're looking elsewhere, uh. or the dealership is looking at their bottom line saying, we need to look at expenses because one of the things when they talk about the way an F&I service company like us makes our income is we split the profit with the dealer on the back end. You'll have people say, well, if I do my own, I keep all the profit. Yes, you keep all the profit and then you pay a salary and then you pay a commission and then you pay benefits. And then so you when pay you for retraining. So when you look at and you play for retraining and you have one set of eyes looking at a deal, mm -hmm. not a company of experience looking at the deal to make sure that every deal gets bought. So in doing that math, I always ask dealers if they're feeling that pain before they say, I don't want to give up all the money in the back end, make sure that we understand what all the money is. Ours is literally a flat commission when we're there and you need us. We split the deal. When it's cold, it's snowy, no boats are selling. We're not asking for time off, we're not asking for vacation, we're not asking for a paycheck. So, easy. Jared Zimlin, another great resource here from MRAA Dealer Week in Tampa. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel for the full Dealer Week experience.